Ever since the retirement of David Warner last summer, Australia has been searching for a new test opener. Steve Smith eagerly put his hand up to opening the banning. Part of the reason why Steve Smith elected to open the banning was because of the success of Marnus Labuschagne. Smith stated that there weren't many runs left for him to score by the time Labuschagne got out. However, things didn't quite go to plan for the legendary test opener, who despite showing glimpses of his brilliance with a 91 in the second innings at Brisbane against the West Indies, was unable to score more than 31 in any of his other innings. It's led to a fair bit of uncertainty around the future of Steve Smith. Smith himself has stated that he's happy to bat anywhere and is not too keen on opening anymore. And his coach Andrew McDonald has said that there's been no firm decisions made on the future of Steve Smith as an opener. It means that the test opener spot is wide up for grabs. So without further ado, here are the candidates. But before we go any further, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And comment who you think should open with Usman Khawaja. Winner will get a shout out. The first candidate is Cameron Green. There's been ideas of Cameron Green opening the batting floating around since last year's Ashes, but personally I think this is a terrible idea. The first reason being that Cameron Green's an all-rounder, and with the Indian batting lineup being reasonably stronger than Pakistan and West Indies lineup, there might be a bit more load on Cameron Green with the ball this year. The other thing is they only gave Green five tests at the number four spot, where he performed really well, so I believe there shouldn't really be much change. If the selectors want a more conventional option though, it's Cameron Beancroft. Fancroft has been in magnificent form during the Sheffield Shield, scoring 778 runs and an average of 48 last year. However, Bancroft has not excelled in his test career so far, and with the selectors seemingly rathering more attacking batsmen, Cameron Bancroft might not be in the frame for a recall. If we're going to talk about like-for-like -like plays for David Warner, then Travis Head is absolutely top of the tree. Head is basically the middle order equivalent of David Warner. If Australia were to look for a like-for-like -like replacement, it's Travis Head's your man, and he doesn't mind scoring runs against India as well. Travis Head doesn't mind opening as well. He has a very good record in white ball cricket up the top of the order. And he scored 200 and a 50 against India the last three times he's played against them. The other thing about Travis Head is he also has experience opening the batting in test cricket. Having done it once again against India in the Borga Vasca Trophy last year. Head enjoyed the role as well, scoring 223 runs and an average of 55.7. However, Travis Head has stated that he's reluctant to open the batting full time. Having said that though, over time I think things may have changed, with Travis Head being an absolute stalwart against the new ball and white ball cricket ball. The last option, especially my favourite option, is Miles Labuschagne. Labuschagne also has a fair bit of experience opening the batting, having scored 100 for Worcestershire early this year in the county championship. Labuschagne has all the attributes to succeed up the top of the order. He's good at leaving the ball outside the off stump, and he's got good experience against international attacks with the new ball, since he's batted a three for most of his career. There's a lot of options out there, but personally, I think if he's willing to, Travis Head would have to be my opener. I would then drop Steve Smith down to number four, and Cameron Green down to number five. Because let's face it, the whole of India is scared of Travis Head, after what he's done in the last two finals against him. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 100 subs by the end of the year, and we're 69% of the way there. And leave a comment who you think should open.